There is a primal man on the internet. You've probably seen him. You've probably heard of him. His name is Brian Johnson, AKA the liver king or lion Johnson, as I call him. He's a fake. He's not a natty idol. Like a lot of people, well, not that many people really. Like he looks, he looks like he's on steroids to me. But some people believe that he wasn't. He says he's not. For the record, okay. it's Natty. He's a big fat f liar though, I tell you what. He's not my Natty idol anymore, guys. I thought before this that I could eat a lot of liver and just get really jacked. But instead, I got some passengers. Liver flukes, I like to call them. Anyways, recently, a documentary length movie essentially detailing the journey of the liver king and also exposing him as a fat fraud was released by a, a fellow Derek more plates more dates aka Derek revealed in his extremely well-made video some shocking revelations about the liver king basically the last caveman on earth allegedly not really who is the liver king if you don't know well I'll tell you all right if you've been living under a rock... Liver King here, we just finished butchering the cow, and because I'm the Liver King, and because Liver is King, we're gonna take a bite out of it. He's a guy who got really famous for eating crazy raw food and being super jacked, hairy, living his primal ancestral lifestyle. Liver King! Liver boys! Liver... Liver queef! Liver queen queef! Queef queen! He eats liver, heart, testicles, He's chomping on balls all day long. Mm. He works out in horrifying and mammoth ways. Anyone can do it. Anyone can will them themselves through it. And when you get through it, you realize not only is this the hardest thing you've ever done, but anything is possible. I've done one of the workouts. It's impossible. It's literally blood, blood boiling. You've got to be on performance enhancing drugs to even get through it, turns out. <laughs> You know, liver is irrelevant. And this guy's been apparently achieving this in a fully natural way for like a year now online and many years before his uh, rise to TikTok stardom. I have to emphasize as well that he built his entire brand by which he sells products to people on a lot. That he is a natural, primal human being who doesn't cheat or take drugs or do anything that is not primal. <gasps> but in reality, he's on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't, is not, it's not that primal, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to do steroids. Should I do steroids? If I get 100,000 likes on this, I'll do steroids. I'll spend 12 grand a month like Liver King on steroids. He tried to lead us to believe that he's a natural god, a natural genetic freak, as he called himself. And it was all a result of this primal lifestyle. And that's what people believe. It, I would have liked to have believed it. And I have a really close friend who did believe it. Not beyond a reasonable doubt. Definitely were suspicions, obviously, but believed it in a fun way to want to try it. And it didn't end up that well. He, he has parasites all th racking his body currently. He's like 35% parasite. So the Liver King's nine ancestral tenets required for, for ancestral primal living to achieve this physique would be sleep, eat, move, shield, connect, cold, sun, fight, and bond. All right? Sounds like a positive message if you ask me. Nothing will get you happier and harder than a little cold sun and fighting and, f and bonding. And what about sucking and f where are those tenants at, you sick bastard? That's more honest and natural than sticking needles in your in your ass, Needle King. But the message is positive. It's good. He wants people to be the best versions of themselves, to live happy lives, to to cure depression, things like that. He's said in many different podcasts on different shows that he was a, a depressed troubled kid who had a lot of problems with self-esteem, uh, insecurity, etc., which shows from the blatant lies and steroid use. I even tried it a bit. I woke up early in the morning, some for like a, three days or something like that. <laughs> I ate burger and stuff, and then I wore those big glasses at night. Those do work, by the way. The blue light thing, that, that actually works. I look cool too when I, when I wore them. So he's not really promoting a diet or a way to gain muscle necessarily. He's promoting a way of living which is good to remember because this whole thing does have a, a positive message about it, in my opinion, uh, aside from the blatant lies and steroid use and sadness that we're all racked with. I feel like I lost a good friend. A big question for me that's been in my mind is just because he's been lying about one aspect of his life, does it outweigh all the positive things that he's done? No, of course not, but it does kinda ruin it all. 
it does kind of, it's bad. It's not, I don't really take him. Yeah, I, what do you guys think? Needless to say, this guy has had an absolutely meteoric rise. He makes I Show Speed look like a dork, okay? He makes I Show Speed look like Oompaville. This crazy rise and meteoric blast through the, through, through the minds of people on TikTok and YouTube and all these shorts platforms, because uh, he's really kind of irrelevant on YouTube, honestly. He's only got like 300k subs. Fucking take that. Loser. <laughs> I'm kind of more relevant than the Liver King everywhere but uh but where it matters through all the success and rise obviously it's caused a great deal of discussion amongst the creators on these platforms that we all inhabit h3 h3 he went on that show i watched that episode it was great and so um do, do you use toothpaste no our early ancestors didn't brush didn't floss you brush? didn't get cavities do you brush i don't use toothpaste i don't brush i don't floss. you don't even deal with the mouth and i don't get cavities okay interesting yeah wow i want to see the Liver King and Ethan fight because <laughs> one is the epitome of masculinity and the other is the Liver King. Aside from just H3H3 and Logan Paul's podcast, he breached the mainstream. Even Joe Rogan talked about him. He said his ass was full of steroids. And by God, was he right. The Liver King thing drives me nuts because <laughs> that guy's on steroids. With no evidence, albeit no evidence, he didn't say this is the reason why, this is the evidence, this is the proof, but you don't really need it. <laughs> I mean, look at the fucking guy. Holy shit. And Liver King even responded to Joe Rogan. Very cringe video. Not a very good response. Weak, weak, lame. The Liver King thing drives me nuts because <laughs> that guy's on steroids. What up, Primo? It is time to put the rumors to rest. I just got my blood work done and the doc is on his way to give me the results. Okay, Liver King, I got your blood results. Show him. Don't tell him, doc. We did find something unusual. Aha! I knew it! Primal. <laughs> Commentary channels have been all over him for months and months and months. Danny Gonzalez tried to live like him for a little while. It was pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. Is this part of the workout? He just breaks down crying. All right, guys, now I'm on the ground. And uh, I'm going to do, I'm mean, still working out. I'm going to do 10 sets of weeping. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh! I just want to eat a, get one candy. I just want one candy, please. This fella Jesse James West even went to Liver King's property and lived with him for 50 hours, which was really interesting and cool. He ate the meat, did the workouts, slept like him, the whole shebang. Queefed like his wife or whatever. This is Liver King. What up, primals? For the next 48 hours, I'm going to eat, train, live, and sleep with Liver King. Hold on. The only person that sleeps with the king is Liver Queen. Yes, sir. The work ethic is incredible. The diet is absolutely disgusting. And there's been nothing but memes, insanity, and yet again, a meteoric rise to success. And in the sale of a lot of desiccated testicle pills. I bought some. I literally bought some. I didn't try them though. They smelled weird. But does he actually live like this when the camera's off? Does he live like those of us thousands of years ago? The Neanderthals of yonder past? I have a a brow, a Neanderthal brow. If you were to punch my forehead, your fist would shear off. That's what my forehead shaped for. My forehead shaped to be punched. Now, the all natural look was a lie. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. It's a lot of controversy comes with the meteoric rise, guys. You get the ab etching, the abs, the fake abs, and the in the, the doping and the and the steroids and the in the in the what else is there? He has ab implants, which is the reason why his six pack is so insane. Now, he has already denied this on multiple podcasts, saying they are real, um, but I think this is a pretty easily debunked rumor. What else is he lying about? Does the liver queen actually liver queef? I mean, I keep saying that, and that's like a really popular uh, TikTok comment. He, he responds to it on TikTok, which is funny to me, but... Anyways, from day one, I didn't think something smelled right. I've argued with people for hours about this guy that I don't think he's natural, but I also don't think most people are natural. Conor McGregor, for example, is obviously not natty. I fall on the I don't believe it side most of the time, usually. The natty or not type stuff, I usually fall onto the they're on steroids. If if they need to be on steroids to do what they do to do it best, they're probably on steroids by some other, you know, measure or whatever. So needless to say, when I saw this arc character maxed out, maximum width on the sliders i thought he was on pets he's dense and when you compare natural bodies for example my friend forrest who is a physical specimen compared to the liver king you can see 
forced very 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 extremely impressive and his diet isn't even close to perfect he eats <laughs> chicken express and like shit with us he, he doesn't care but the liver king is on like another level and is the difference just dedication in the ancestral lifestyle or is it twelve thousand dollars a month of pets brian has the prime body of a true man giant permanent abs that never go unflexed ever massive arms legs he's got legs joe rogan said that you'd have to be in the zero 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 point zero 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 one percent of genetic freaks and it would be statistically improbable or impossible he's the only human to ever look like this really do you know how rare it is to have a physique like that and not be on steroids you would have to be in the zero 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 point one percent of the human population or does he just look like all the bodybuilders who just do pets I don't know, dude. Regardless, in light of the impossible nature of his feet, he still achieved a massive brand with a disgusting diet. It's all so unbelievably rare. He lifts weights like an ape. He's like an ape, a big ape, a five foot seven ape. He's five seven. That's short, he's a manly. There's literally mukbangs of him eating liver and raw balls and stuff, sitting there with his family who look like they're there against their will completely. They look like prisoners, prisoners. His children look like prisoners. The dude has committed so hard to the natty game, claiming that he's natural on so many different occasions, doubling down so many different times. But in Derek's video, he leaked emails, right? And Derek was forwarded these emails, he claims in his video. I live in the Republic of Texas, Houston. So I am CST, I believe that's 12 hours behind you. This is an absolute priority for me. So I will cancel almost anything planned to make this happen with you. From someone and the sheer amount of information it's fairly easy to corroborate those as reality and not just some fake whatever, because you could you could say it's all fake. I mean, oh, it's all, it's fake, it's fake primals. I would never do steroids, it's fake primals. But not only that, dude, along with all the talk of performance enhancers and the $11,000 or $12,000 of, of growth hormone he's taking every single month, he also tried to use Derek more plates, more dates, as his consultation service to get advice on the best PEDs to use. Because that's what Derek does, is give people actual sound advice on uh, on like testosterone, hormone replacement, endocrinology type shit, and hair loss, he's really good with that. But alas, these emails surfaced, they were from June 2021, before he really had an on uh, an online personality that was recognizable. And also, ironically, the subject line was confidentiality, which is kind of funny because it's, it's the opposite of that now. It's leaked now. It's leaked now. It's leaked information now. Not good. Digital footprint. Not good. Not good. The emails are basically him trying to schedule a consultation with a coach, not Derek, in which he outlines a crazy use of steroids and, ironically enough, says that he's still sticking to the ancestral and primal way of life. Like, he still does all the stuff He's still the liver king to a T, but with dextrose and a lot of peds, <laughs> like a lot, okay? So f many that it is unbelievable. He talks about taking Omnitrope, which is a human growth hormone, which makes people big. It also increases the size of your organs, which is why he has that big distended gut too. That's like one of the main things I look for whenever I want to judge someone and think that they're not natural is uh, I look for their big distended guts. Because it's terribly unhealthy. And you can, it's, I mean, it's bad for you. He takes four vials a week, 16 a month. It's $12,000 a month. And he takes IGF-1, which is another growth fact. He takes two vials of that a week, but he's talking about doubling the dosage. What the hell? All because he's not seeing the results he wants. What are you talking about? And he theorizes it's because of everything else he's taking, which he then outlines, which is Omnitrope, IGF-1 for a whole year, CJC with IMAP, what is that? That stimulates HGH. Ibutamorin mimics HGH. What is that? Testosterone cypionate, which is literally just steroids. That's in a cruise dose. Whatever the fuck that means, it's still steroids. DECA, steroids. And Winstrol, steroids. What is all this stuff? I would love to see what would happen if I just started dousing myself with all these vials of, uh, of performance enhancing drugs and then started referring to myself in the third person and just being really weird and wearing shorts and no shirt. What would happen? I would like that.
Let's find out. 100,000 likes on this video. And something that makes this all just that much more amusing is if you go to Tenet 4 Shield under the FAQ section, someone asks if he's taking any artificial enhancers, and he says, Liver King has never cheated nor taken a shortcut in any capacity of life. You earn the life and wife that you behold. We believe that you should avoid man-made toxins and commit to the nine ancestral tenets. You will unlock the greatest version of yourself, and you will optimize your testosterone, your growth hormone, your RGF-1, your DHT, the key metabolic markers, and you will achieve higher version of yourself. No steroids necessary. Rules for thee and not for me. Yeah, apparently the lifestyle boosts all these things so well that you still have to spend $12,000 a month on Omni-Man or whatever the fuck. I think we should call him the Needle King. What do you guys think? Yeah, he closed out the email saying that he's concerned with his, his recent lab results because he's ruined his, his body, essentially, by taking unsupervised amounts of all these different drugs, which is a terrible idea, and that's why he's reaching out to try to get his the cocktail figured out, the Needle King. He's trying to get the Needle King cocktail figured out. He's abusing his system, literally. Makes sense. And this is starkly contrasted by so many different statements, specifically one on steroid use on Burt Kreischer's podcast, which I enjoy Burt. And basically, Liverboy says it's a compliment whenever people ask if he's on steroids. Because when somebody says, hey man, you're on steroids, and they've been saying this for 20 or 30 yeah. years. I've been, I've been working out since I was eight. So as I was in high school, hey man, you're on steroids. This is a great compliment. Yeah, needless to say, it's it's incredibly deflective and very just gaslighty. He's very manipulative and he's a liar. He's a lying piece of shit. In a follow-up email, he considers spending an extra $5,000 a month on Omnitrope unless the coach has a better recommendation. Yeah, how about you don't do any of it? You just follow your nine ancestral tenants and get more sleep or whatever the f he talks about. So what else could he possibly have lied about? All right, does he have ab implants? In fact, this is not even a joke, all right? I don't believe this is true. This is an allegation. But I heard from a guy, I do not believe this is true, by the way, that someone told me that I know that their best friend is a guy that does plastic surgery for famous people. And that guy told my friend that the liver king consulted him for ab etching and did not use his service, but did consult him similar to this situation. And this was before the emails were released. Am I saying this is true? No. Am I saying, would I not be surprised at this point? Yes, that is absolutely true. His abs are fucking outrageous. I have abs. They don't look like that. I mean, look, I have great abs and it's all about lighting. Look at this. I mean, if I'm not in the perfect lighting, it looks like I have a, it looks just like I'm normal or something. But yeah, he just seems like a big old liar now, you know? It kind of overshadows all the positive stuff of the Liver King lifestyle. <laughs> He even plays on these rumors. He even said that he got a genetic modification in Singapore. What the hell, dude? Kenny KO, a person I've been watching for years and years and years and years on YouTube, even confronted him in, in person at Venice Beach. Do you have ab surgery? <laughs> said that if it wasn't ab implants, it was, it was ab etching. And he just denied it, obviously, as he does, because he's a liar. He denied the implants, but he said you probably got ab etching. Now, while obviously none of this is confirmed, it's all speculation, obviously, none of it's true. It's all lighthearted jabbing, whatever we can speculate, however we want. He's a public figure. He's inviting himself into uh, this type of criticism and speculation, especially when he's a f***ing lying piece of shit. Alas, there's a long history of people who do not think that the liver king is natural. And alas, yet again, we were right. <laughs> And the steroid use is one thing to lie about. Is it really that far-fetched that he's lying about other things as well? It's not that much of a stretch of the imagination, if you ask me, Chum Lee. I keep rhyming, what the f is wrong with me? To be fair, does this overshadow the amount of work that he puts in? Absolutely not. The dude works out like a beast, all right? And it does seem like he lives those tenets. I mean, he eats the disgusting food, he lives the lifestyle, he treats people the way that he wants to be treated, his podcasts are entertaining. He's in character. The guy's in character. Uh, but he also is just lying about that the whole time, which takes away from it a lot. It just takes away from it. It's like the foundation. You take the foundation away. Oh, wait, I'm on steroids. Oh, you know, why would he lie? Why the f would he lie? Well, to sell more goods. If he can make you believe that you can look the way that he looks, by eating raw liver and, and if you're not able to eat raw liver, you can take his supplements conveniently that he sells uh, and already sold a lot of before this all happened and, and blew up and now he's selling consistently more. The Liver King Baller has just gone live. It is gonna become 
the most dominant bar in the history of bars. And I'm here to prove it to you. Well, yeah, it makes sense to keep that. It makes sense to, to, to keep the pads a secret and to just make it seem like eating liver makes you really, I mean, I bought some. I would never buy some. But yeah, money is the reason why money. You want to create an image. It's like he makes hundreds of millions of dollars. He's made hundreds of millions of dollars. He literally has an empire, a jet, 500 acres in Houston, Texas, the Republic of Texas, as he says. He built the brand on being natural, ancestral living, liver, balls, Beef. He's even got bars and all sorts. I mean, it's it's all about money. It's literally the, all about money. I would love to see the before and after of the 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 revenue of his companies before everyone knew that he's a fake, and then after everyone knows now that he's on steroids. I mean, it's so obvious. Like, he's got protein bars that mimic his diet. I have a Liver King bar and a whole beast protein shake. Pills, prostate pills. I mean, what the hell? When you sell this kind of stuff, you have to exemplify what it means to be at the peak performance. If you're just some random, if you're like Nick Acado Avocado selling this kind of stuff, it doesn't mean anything. You know, no offense to you, Nick. I mean, I love you, brother, but uh, not really f you, you asshole. But at the same time, like, oh, at the same time, I love you, bro. Like, come on, I'm just really all over the place right now. I'm sorry, guys. You have to be an exemplary figure, the 0.000001% genetic freak to sell this crazy lifestyle. And he did it, he did it. Cha-ching, bada bing, baby. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Thousands of feral fans buying his products and he just lies to them. This is my favorite part. You might be asking, well, what did he say about all this? Well, he, he had a response. He had a response, definitely. He posted a TikTok once all this came to light. Primals, and this is what Liver King is having for dinner today. It's typical Liver King. It's him eating stuff, and he's got a plate of raw meat, and he uses every Liver King buzzword. My fight, unite my purpose. My fight, my unite, my purpose. My there's a better life to live. And there's a better life to live. He says he's grateful to the guys sitting on the couch making reaction videos. I couldn't be more grateful for some of the guys sitting on the couch making reaction video. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. I'm on a Herman Miller and body chair. This chair is dope. It's not a couch. I'm out here in nature living like a king and you're, just, you're isolated inside, you couch dwelling lard, criticizing the way that I choose to live. And then he conveniently acknowledges the new information uh, that surfaces that will lead to good discussion. That seems like he doesn't really care. He just kind of played it off. But then the next day, which was yesterday, he released an apology. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize. And I watched the apology and it was all right. It was all right. He says he used to be rich and anonymous. Before social media, I was rich and anonymous. Flex, by the way, dickweed. Now he's rich and famous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. Even better, Flex. And he says he didn't know how to navigate this. I feel like personally how he did was wrong. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. And I also feel like personally all apologies are bad. Most of them, at least. 99% of all the apologies that I've ever seen are bad. This one's no different. Is it high scoring for a YouTube apology? Yeah, it's pretty good, comparatively speaking. But when you're comparing it to this, it's not that difficult to score high. He kind of apologizes, kind of skirts around it, you know, as one does when they're being trashed by the entire internet. He says he's been on steroids and is currently taking steroids, like literally actively. Like he probably still, his ass is probably still sore from shooting up. I've done steroids and yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. And then he says that the Liver King was only an experiment to spread the message and bring awareness to suicide rates. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who killed themselves. Now, I don't understand this part at all. I don't really wanna to delve too deeply into it because that's a very serious, extremely serious topic. And I'm not a very serious guy, but it seems like a real big fat cop out to just apologize, get caught doing something, and then be like, well, this is why I did it, because I'm a benevolent God. Yes, I lied to you all to make millions of dollars, but it was for a good cause. It wasn't about money, it was to prevent suicide it was to do this it's like dude what are you f doing how about you don't just mention that in your apology that's insane now does his way of life help people with depression and things like that i'm sure literally not doing things that people do on average now helps with that not using your phone 
eating healthy, exercise, those simple things help you. You, the liver king, probably helped some people get into that life easier, but this whole big fat lie ain't helping nothing, man. You shouldn't have done that. And you shouldn't have brought that up, in my opinion. He's conscious of the struggles we're all going through, and that's why he does steroids for us for us mentally ill people. It just feels extremely deflective and disingenuous to me, which is unfortunate. That part, in all honesty, overshadows the whole lie more so. It's like, are you doing this for money or are you doing steroids to help people, to help their, to help, that doesn't make any sense. But then it becomes a standard YouTube apology. He just drones on, talk about his purpose and his cause. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. He encourages people to embrace ancestral living so they can better their mental and physical health, which I do agree. I think we should all probably take a step back from this terrible, cursed, toxic, cancerous modern world. And maybe we should go jack off into a ravine occasionally and not take ourselves so seriously. Okay, I think that's one of the tenets. I don't know. You don't have to do steroids. And if you do do steroids, at least be honest. That should be another tenet. Being honest is, is really important. Learning that your idols are lying pieces of shit is not that good for some people's mental health, especially those who idolize you. He did admit that he'd been lying to us on his podcasts and his messaging, everything. I've been on several podcasts and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said, no, I don't touch this stuff, not gonna touch this stuff, never touch this stuff. That was a lie. And he convinced himself that it was okay. I convinced myself that I'm not a competitive athlete of any kind. So who the fuck am I cheating? Because uh, the Liver King brand had no effect on his supplement businesses because they were already successful before, before the fact. The Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success. His whole brand is a funnel to go to the website and sell products. And you can see a massive Google trend spike uh, that coincides with his blow up on social media and the search for ancestral supplements. So it's obvious, bro. Come on. What are you doing? You can't you can't deny that. That's that's disingenuous. Now, uh, this part is where it does get pretty interesting to me because in all honesty, I do forgive him. I think the way that he went about apologizing is kind of whack. Uh, and I, you know, he did say he was sorry, which is good because most people don't even apologize. Like people were mad at me that I didn't apologize for scamming you guys with the established titles thing. Why the would I apologize? I didn't know it was wrong. As soon as I realized it was wrong, I refunded people. I don't need to apologize. What the f I didn't actively lie to everyone and keep a f secret for years. This is ridiculous. This, you have to apologize. This is different. You have to apologize for this. He did, but then he deflected it. It was f weird. But I'm excited to see what happens next because now he's going to talk about steroids and PEDs openly. I will be better. I will talk about it openly because I believe that there's a time and a place for pharmacological intervention monitored and managed by a trained hormone physician. And he's gonna be honest, allegedly. We'll see about that. Uh, because there is a time and a place for this discussion. I mean, more plates, more dates, Derek. His entire channel has been about just pure honesty and uh, the brutal analytic truth of what it is to, to hack your body and make it the best possible thing that it can be regardless of how dangerous it may be, which that's noble in my opinion, that's awesome. Derek is a, a model dude, I love that guy. The Liver King appeared that way, but it turns out also he's just a big liar. But alas, I'm excited to see what happens from here on, how he talks about it, how he handles it. Um, and he admits to trying a bunch of other steroids in the past with no success. I don't take any other steroids like Nandrolone or Winstrol, but I have tried them in the past without success. He hasn't mentioned the ones that he said he did in the email and stuff. And then he doubles down on the ab implants and ab etching thing. Nope, I've never had ab implants, ab etching, or any other plastic surgery. And I sure as fuck never actually had gene editing done in Sigma Port. Which, are we supposed to believe him? I don't f know, who cares? Uh, and that that was just all jokes and his Singapore gene editing was jokes as well. It's all part of ancestral tenant number 10. Have a little goddamn fun which is not even on his website or real. So he's just making stuff up on the fly. How can you take this seriously if he's lying the whole time? Is it possible to pull positive out of something that's so tarnished and so ruined now? I feel like it is, you know, it seems ruined to me. 
But I'm still gonna watch a little bit. I'm still gonna see what he's doing, check in. I'm not gonna, I don't believe any of his stuff anymore. I'm not gonna buy his supplements, uh, which I shouldn't have done that ever in the, in the beginning. I never, I bought them, I never took them. I bought one bottle of balls or something like that, I forget, because I thought it'd be funny. I'm interested to see what happens, though. Kinda sucks, kinda ruined him's fucking, I don't know, it's really disappointing, though, for sure. And his apology was so whack. I hate all apologies. I think they're all bad. The best way to do it is just be like, I'm sorry, I take extreme ownership, extreme responsibility for everything that I did. I apologize, guys. I would like to know what I need to do uh, to do better. If it's something that deserves an apology, obviously, because some stuff doesn't actually deserve an apology, and people want to force you to apologize. This deserved an apology, and it got a bunch of weird deflection with some kind of apology and then like, I don't know. Seems like you should have owned up to it more, but let me know what you guys think down below. Alas, I'm just a beta male. I don't know shit about nothing. I'm a Dewey male. I'm not even a beta male, I'm a Dewey male. I'm not even on test. I don't even have balls.